Hey guys, I want to update you on everything that happened today. It was a huge day for Call of Duty. We had an amazing event inside of Warzone that led us to the reveal of the campaign trailer. And along with that, they put in some multiplayer gameplay. We got some information on zombies and also the beta that's coming and then all the information for the pre-orders. And I'm going to go over all of that for you. There are new generation consoles coming right around the release of Cold War. I'm going to show you the breakdown of how Treyarch is managing that and the options that they're offering so that you can make the best buying decisions. They've also increased the price of the standard edition, which we knew eventually that was coming, and it looks like that's happening with this game. But I'm going to go over all the fine details about all of this. First, I want to show you guys the event that happened today. It was absolutely amazing. It made you feel like you were really a part of the event and a part of the reveal. Today in Warzone, they updated the playlist and made it where you couldn't play anything but this mode for the reveal. It was called Know Your History. You run around the map completing four objectives that eventually lead you to woods, and then you have to wait for a counter to count down and then the screen will go black and then drops you back into the map and it wants you to run towards the stadium and while you're running there the screen is flashing there's words that are showing up and then eventually it goes into the trailer this was a very cool experience and definitely the best reveal by far them having us wait this long was definitely worth it it is worth doing this event because you do obtain items and you can do the event again it's scheduled out and i'll show you guys that schedule in just a moment you earn four items and one of them is an emblem it is animated it's cold war themed and it's called war of words and then on the right you'll get this calling card called mounting storm it's also animated during the step where you meet woods you go up to him and grab a weapon and when you do that you're going to be awarded a blueprint for this bay of pigs legendary rifle the fourth and final item that you earn is the most interesting and pretty telling of more things to come during one of the steps you earn this weapon charm called test pattern and it's a little tv and what's really interesting is is the description. It says, nothing to see here, just the test pattern charm. When I saw that, I was like, oh, we are definitely going to be doing more, maybe for the multiplayer portion of the reveal. A while back, they had added these TVs into some of the houses in Warzone, and they added them in a way where they stand out pretty badly. You can see this one is not positioned correctly. When you go upstairs, you can see the same TV model, and everybody's been really suspicious of these, and so far, nothing's happened with them, and there is one TV in the TV room that shows that it does animate and we haven't interacted with it yet so we're thinking yeah this might be a part of some portion of the reveal for Cold War. Also there's a lot of evidence that we might actually be firing off that ICBM in Bunker 10. It stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile and there's a lot of people that think that this thing will be fired off and there are still so many mysteries around the map like Bunker 11 Second Door we still don't know how to get into that. So maybe something closer to the multiplayer gameplay reveal is when we'll see all of this happen. That's announced to be happening on September the 9th, which is two weeks from now, and it is a Wednesday, and they seem to be doing everything on Wednesdays. I don't know why, but we might be coming back into Warzone that day. If you want to catch this Know Your History event and pick up these items, then here's the schedule at the bottom left. This is going to be going for the next four days. In addition to all of that, right when this event started, Battle.net posted this page here on their site, showcasing all all the modes for Cold War. And this was our first real look at seeing zombies being officially confirmed for Black Ops Cold War. It confirms campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. And the zombies description reads, uncover dark Cold War experiments that unleash a new zombie threat to take on in frightening and intense cooperative gameplay with friends. They did post a picture with it. And at first we were kind of excited and confused. We were like, this looks like Mason and Woods in this scene. Is it possible that we're gonna be using those characters in zombies? And there was some good feedback from the community and Eric had said that he thinks that this zombie shot is definitely a placeholder. These mobile wallpapers look like the same shot location and he said that it could also be a zombies cutscene but he's doubtful. So yeah it's probably just a placeholder picture. They didn't want to completely reveal it but they did want us to know that zombies was a part of this game so that they could start the pre-orders and people could know what to expect before they purchase. And I'll show you guys all the pre-order information in just a moment. Another thing that was found for zombies was on the COD mobile companion app. And shout out to Chris Bob for seeing this. He saw this notification pop up on his phone and when he clicked it, it took him to this link here within the app. What's interesting is that he can no longer access this page here within the app. And I got on the app and I can't find it either. So I don't know if they've removed it. You guys can certainly try looking if you have the phone app. But it says pre-order at the top. It says zombies. Players will bring a Cold War arsenal of weapons and equipment into the next evolution 
evolution of Treyarch's signature zombies cooperative experience. Then there are what appears to be three words that have been blocked out. And at the bottom, it says classified. Now, I don't think that's any kind of hint to it being linked to classified. I think they're just saying that it's secret. Also, as I'm making this video, Treyarch just made a blog post and they talked about the details of what's been revealed so far and what we can expect to see pretty soon. And at the very bottom, they mentioned zombies. And this is the first time we're seeing zombies coming out of their mouth in a sense. It reads, we're just getting started. Get ready for more news in the coming days, followed by our multiplayer reveal on September 9th, where you'll get all the intel you need to dominate in the open beta later this year. And don't worry, we'll have more to talk about with zombie fans before you know it. So some of us are guessing that we might get this zombies reveal at the multiplayer reveal on the 9th. And then we're guessing that we're probably going to see the open beta maybe at the beginning of October. There was a Doritos promo that leaked and I believe it said October 5th is when you could use the double XP promo from that. So that might tie into when the beta could be starting. It feels amazing to know they're bringing back zombies. And another thing that's really cool is that on Twitter today, zombies was trending for most of the day and sometimes even more than Cold War. So it looks like people are still really excited about zombies. I know I am. And hopefully this new mode for Cold War is going to be very successful. In addition to all that information, we did get a glimpse at the box cover art for PS5 and also Xbox. And the versions that you're seeing here is where the prices are going to be going up. And I'll explain that in just a moment. Now let's go over the pre-order details and the different versions they're offering and also how to get into the open beta and how to get into it early. When you do pre-order, you can start seeing the countdown clock and today it currently says we have 78 days to go. So there are three digital versions currently available. There is the standard edition cross gen bundle and then ultimate edition. When you pre-order any of these, they will all give you access to the open beta. Up at the top next to the versions, I've got some pictures just to quickly show you what is in each of them, but the full description is down at the bottom. So all of them will give you access to the beta and when you purchase on PS4, you're going to get at least five days early access to the beta. So PC and Xbox will definitely have to wait an extra five days. Also down at the bottom, it's showing that the beta will run for a minimum of two days. As far as when the beta starts, speculation is all over the place. We could be playing right after the multiplayer reveal or we might have to wait until October. Again, the Doritos promo is showing that the double XP is accessible during the first part of October. In addition to all three versions getting access to the open beta, they'll also be getting the confrontation weapons pack. Now we don't know what that is yet. We just know that it is a part of all the pre-orders. And the ultimate edition will be getting that and a whole lot more. And I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But first I want to show you how they're handling the compatibility between the current gen and new generation consoles that are coming. First off, Activision has announced that Black Ops Cold War on PS5 and Xbox Series X, the new generations that are coming, will feature higher frame rate, hardware based ray tracing, and faster loading times thanks to the new SSDs. Now, if you purchase the cross gen bundle or the ultimate edition, the two more expensive ones on PS4, then you will be able to play this digital copy on PS4 and PS5, and you will also get the benefits on PS5 with the enhanced performance. And this is the same for going from Xbox One over to Xbox Series X. But if you purchase the least expensive option, the standard edition, you will be able to play it on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. So it is forwards and backwards compatible. But when you go to play it on PS5 and Xbox Series X, the new gens, you're not going to get that performance enhancement. But they are giving you the option to upgrade to get that enhanced performance. Activision says those who buy the digital standard edition on PS4 or Xbox One will be allowed to upgrade to PS5 or Xbox Series X within console family only for $10. As far as hard copies, from what I've seen, if you get the PS4 hard copy, it will play in the PS5 and the same goes for Xbox One over to Xbox Series X. Here's a closer look at all the additional items you're gonna get with the Ultimate Edition. You'll be getting access to the open beta, the confrontation weapons pack. You'll also be getting three operator skins, three weapon blueprints, and three vehicle skins. For that gear, here's an even closer look. It's called Land, Sea, and Air. You can see how it's themed out between all of that, and it's giving you the operator skin, vehicle skin, and weapon blueprints. The last thing you'll be getting is a 
season one battle pass and it's going to include 20 tier skips. In addition to all of that, when you pre-order any of those, you're going to get access to the woods pack inside of Warzone. You'll be getting an Old Faithful Assault Rifle, Woods Quip, Down You Go, Woods Skin, Frank Woods, Operator Finishing Move Payback, and then Woods as the Operator. And this is all available right now. If you pre-order, you can go into Warzone and start using these immediately. Also, in regards to the price increase of the base game, this is what's happening. They said for almost 15 years, now, standard editions of games have been $59.99 for players, with almost all companies offering higher and premium editions for different prices. Activision has now confirmed they will be increasing the price of the standard edition of next generation games for their franchise, starting with Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. The standard edition for next gen will include a copy for current gen users who want to play on that version too. The standard PS5 or Xbox Series X editions will now cost $60. $69.99 USD. There's also some really big news about crossplay and cross progression, along with free content that's coming. With Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, it's going to feature crossplay with all platforms PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and PC. Players are going to be able to play with their friends regardless of platforms, and similar to Modern Warfare, player progression will transfer between all platforms. So if you are playing on PS4 and you've leveled up some and you want to go over to PS5, all of that progression will transfer over and you don't have to start over. And as of right now, I haven't seen any information to let us know that we're going to be able to turn the cross platform off because sometimes console players do not want to be playing with PC players. Another announcement, and this is great for zombies and people that want to get into zombies, there is not going to be a season pass for Black Ops Cold War. They are saying that all post launch multiplayer maps and DLC will be free. Activision confirms a steady stream of content for multiplayer zombies and more to come throughout the post-launch seasons. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will also offer a battle pass system and deliver a steady stream of free post-launch content including multiplayer maps and modes, zombies experiences, along with a robust schedule of in-game community events. And the battle pass system introduced in Modern Warzone will return in Black Ops Cold War. Activision announced changes to these monetizations in their game with Modern Warzone in 2019, eliminating loot boxes in favor of a battle pass system. There was still so much more revealed today that was exciting with campaign and some other features, but for now, this is enough information. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you, and we'll see you next video.